In these problems, we are multiplying three fractions together. And there's really nothing much harder about this than what you're used to, except there maybe are more numbers to deal with. But we're going to multiply all the numbers on the top and all the numbers on the bottom. Although, if you can do any clever tricks with cancellation before you do that, keep your eye out for it. It'll make things simpler. In this case, I don't think we can. I don't see any of the same numbers on the top uh, that are on the bottom. So let's go ahead and multiply. 1 times 3 times 3, that's 9. And 7 times 4 times 4, so 28 times 4 is that 112. And then we have to see if we can uh, reduce this at all. Let's see if 112 is divisible by 3. It's not. So it looks like this may be in simplest terms. So 9 112 is our answer there. Let's try this next one. Here, we want to convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions and then do our multiplication. So let's go ahead and do this. So 1 times 7 is uh, 7 plus 5 is 12 sevenths times 1. Well, actually, ooh, look at this. I have 12 sevenths here and I have 7 twelfths here. Before I even convert this 1 and 3 fourths, I want to show you something. We got really lucky on this problem. So you'll notice I have a 7 here on top and a 7 here on the bottom, and then a 12 on the top and 12 on the bottom. These two things, 12 sevenths and 7 twelfths, are reciprocals of each other. When you multiply them together, they cancel out totally. They just become the number 1. And our answer is going to be that. So instead of um, doing the work of converting this to an improper fraction uh, and then having to convert it back afterwards, I've seen that these, the rest of the problem cancels out and our answer is 1 and 3 fourths. Nice to get lucky like that sometimes. Let's try this next one. I have, well, we've got some uh, mixed numbers. Let's convert them to improper fractions. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8 fifths. And then I'm going to actually write this 5 as 5 over 1, just so we have everything in the same format. I think it's less confusing. And then here, 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5 fourths. And at this point, we want to see if we can cancel anything. So I see a 5 on the bottom and a 5 on the top. I'm going to cancel those two. That simplifies our multiplication. Now on the top, I just have 8 times 5. That's 40. And on the bottom, I have 1 times 4. That's 4. And 40 divided by 4, well, you take a 4 out of each of those, you get 10 over 1, or just 10. So that's a little bit of work with multiplying three fractions. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.